Hi, welcome to Thunder Lakes. I'm Micah, your friendly neighborhood Botech, and today we're going to be talking about the Elite Basin. The Elite Basin, um, this one happens to be a package bow. It has a pretty good package on it, and um, it's kind of a youth bow, but it's more geared, more geared towards a little bit bigger youth, middle school up through high school. In the past, we've noticed with some of the youth bows that as, you know, they have this huge range of draw weight and uh, draw length adjustability, and they work out great for little kids and stuff, and as they start to get bigger, they, they hit close to an adult size, and all of a sudden the bow looks like they're shooting their little baby brother's bow, and they're not comfortable with it. Well, Elite entered the basin, and I think this thing is a real knockout bow. Um, I really like the features of it. So let's get down to it. Let's talk specs. It's 32 and a half axle to axle, well, 32 and 3 eighths plus or minus. It also is uh, 20 to 70 pounds, so not necessarily a five-year-old's bow, but definitely by the time they're 10 or 12, should be pulling uh, 20 pounds with no problem. Draw length goes from 16 to 30, so it does go down. It will work for them. Um, it may seem big for them at first, but it will work for the smaller kids. But being a 32 axle axle and having a six and a almost seven inch brace height, six and three quarter brace height, it's gonna be forgiving and it's gonna fit the larger kids up through adults ladies some of the smaller guys i mean draw length goes to 30 so i guess that doesn't even apply it'll fit just about anyone it's got a good price point on it and this package is lights out it's all cbe stuff which cbe makes great stuff it's got the six inch effect stabilizer with a couple of weights on it, it has a cbe tactics repin sight uh toolless adjustment um cbe uh biscuit style rust and uh, CBE removable quiver, which is really quite slick. Holds five arrows, it's a good quiver. Really good quality stuff. One of the things that is available with this bow also is the fact that you got limb stops or you can just use the cable stops. If you like that really rock solid dead back wall, the limb stops are a great way to go. If you like a little bit more of a play back there, run the limb stops. You can just run it straight, really just customize, fit it, tune it to fit you. Elite has been known as the most tunable bows in the world. That's their their thing. And I'm here to tell you, they're not far off on this one. It does use a double yoke system, which gives you great tunability. It's a little more old school of a design, but that's probably how they were able to keep the, the cost down a little bit. There's nice solid pockets for your cable stops if you choose to use the cable stops. Rotating draw mods, no press needed. And like I said, 20 to 70 pounds. Really, let's just take this thing out to the range, throw a few arrows through it and see how it does and see how it compares and what it feels like. All right, we're here in the range and uh, we got the uh, Elite Base in here. We got it bottomed out for poundage, uh, but it is still a shorter draw length, way shorter than I like. I'm gonna guess it's about 27 inches. We're gonna take a few shots with it. I took a couple just to kind of make sure it was shooting decently. My first impression is this is a fun little bow to shoot. Everything on it seems to work pretty well. Um, not a lot of noise. So let's uh, throw a couple arrows and see what we get. For the first two shots, it's pretty quiet. Um, it's got a nice zip to it. The shorter draw length and being bottom out, it feels probably 65, 68 pounders to me. A lot of times with these bows, they don't go clear to 70 until you get out there to like 20, 29 inches. It's got a good feel. There's not much vibration. Got a good stabilizer, string stop. The sight, I really like the sight. They did something a little different that I've never seen on a package bow before. But the top pin appears to be a 10,000 fiber with 19s on the two bottom ones, which is kind of a nice deal. Um, like I said, I haven't seen that on a package bow before. I like that. Smaller pin up close is nice. Personally for me, I'd flip it over. Um, 
Yeah, so she's a really good shooter. This is a fun shooting bow. I did not put the, the draw stops on it. Um, I left it the way it is without the, the limb stops. Um, I'm just going off the string stops and still has a really solid, good feeling back wall. Threw a D loop on it and uh, kind of roughed in the sight so I could actually get the target down there. Really just feels nice. Um, doesn't feel like a kid's bow to me, um, other than the fact that I never addressed it to draw length, so it's a few inches short. But she's got pretty good speed. Like I said, not much noise, not much vibration. Um, pretty dead in the hand. I think this would be a great bow if you're in the market. You know, you have a preteen or a teen that's looking to get into something a little bit bigger than you know the little kid bow. I think it's a great way to go. This is a bow that I wouldn't have any problems with shooting now, and I haven't been a little kid for about 100 years. So <laughs> come in, check it out, give it a few shots. The Elite Basin. Package bow under 700 bucks. Pretty great package. I think pretty much anybody could be proud to shoot this bow.